name is Andy Quo. This is my 2007 WRX. I've owned it for uh, 14 years of my life. I think going on 15 years now since uh, high school actually. So it's been a really long, uh, slow build, but I'm pretty happy with where it's at now. So I got this car because in high school I was super into WRC, uh, the World Rally Championship, and seeing the WRB GD chassis Impreza sliding through, you know, uh, dirt, snow, sleet. Um, that just blew my world and I was so in love with that car. I knew I just had to have that chassis um, I love the bug eye and the blob eye, but the Hawkeye definitely to me looks the most aggressive the most sleek uh, And it's the one that I had to have so I uh, went way out of my way to find a uh, Hawkeye right before uh, They discontinued this chassis generation and moved on to the hatchbacks uh, So I really wanted a white one uh, that that was my dream one um, but because it was so late, uh, I couldn't find any, and I had to settle with a black one. Um, but in the end, I'm actually pretty happy that I got black. It, it, all the parts and the aero, all the carbon, it pulls together very well on black. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the setup right now is many, many, many phases later. The car's been through a lot of phases in its life. But right now, uh, I'm pretty happy that it's running basically a full JDM uh, authentic Voltex and uh, Zero Sports hybrid kit. Uh, mesh together uh, with a lot of JDM parts inside and out uh, to make like a Tsukuba uh, JDM Time Attack theme build. If you want to start with uh, in the bay, uh, it's actually very conservative of the build. Uh, it's still uh, EJ255 WRX motor, so uh, and still the stock motor. Uh, this car has uh, surpassed all the uh, EJ memes, you know, of it blowing up. Although I always trip about that whenever I do a pull. I always wonder is this my last pull? Um, but uh, it's still running strong. Um, it's uh, it has an upgraded turbo, which is the uh, OEM STI Turbo, it's a VF39, and I have that port and polish uh, STI top intercooler, all the supporting mods that make uh, that work, uh, was the fuel pump, the Walbro. Um, one of the things I most love about this setup, this power setup, is the external wastegate. I have the 44mm uh, teal wastegate Grim Speed setup with external dump routed right underneath the passenger um, seat by the axle. So there's a tube that just dumps all the boost in the atmosphere and it sounds glorious as fuck, it never gets tiring. Um, but I also attribute the car's response to that setup. The car is a Pro Tune by Yimmy Sport. So the car makes uh, max power, uh, max boost at like 2800 RPM and it feels glorious. Um, so very usable power for the track, the toge, the street, um, and very reliable. Uh, what you're seeing here is some dress up stuff, uh, JDM stuff I could find, like uh, Zero Sports, uh, Rear piping, RC plate that was uh, custom TI burned, Pro Drive, uh, cold air intake with a valid um, carb decal. That's a big deal in our world um, here in SoCal. But uh, yeah, Cusco uh, strut tower, ARC, um, this, Zero Sports, that, Cusco, random shit scattered around. Not really uh, something I invested a lot of time into, uh, the engine bay, because uh, this car is built purely for function. Again, this car is the theme is a uh, the JDM. Uh, well, I guess it was based off the uh, Tomei slash Voltex slash Cusco uh, blue uh, Hawkeye Impreza Time Attack race car. That combined with the, uh, there's a WRB Zero Sports Time Attack race car. Um, it was inspired by both those builds and I've uh, tried to bring that stateside and combine those cars to make a street Time Attack toge car. Uh, again, the car to me is the equilibrium between function and form, a balance of them. And every mod I put on this car is always to serve a purpose, a functional purpose, um, and through that form follows, uh, is what I believe. So uh, the front bumper is actually, uh, the, the Zero Sports kit is one of the most prized things on this car to me, uh, because it's a really rare discontinued JDM kit. Um, the front bumper is super aggressive and has a massive opening for a front mount that's on the race car. Well, actually it has a V mount, um, but uh, it works on black. If it was white, uh, it looked you know, really aggressive. So I'm glad that it's on black. Um, I have the Voltex side skirts. Uh, the, uh, these are really cool STI door garnishes. A lot of people aren't even aware of this part in the Subaru world, but I really like them because um, they add like a canard that is in line with the vent line in the side skirt. So a lot of people will ask me what kit this is thinking they're together. Um, but again, this is just a rare STI like catalog part. Um, I had to add the rear flare because uh, I have a WRX. Uh, let's put it on the other side without <laughs> this lip on it. Um, it's cleaner. But uh, I added the uh, lip because I have a, the Zero Sports rear bumper um, and it has the flare that continues and required me to install that. So the, re the rear bumper is a Zero Sports bumper. 
Uh, it's also super aggressive with the uh, massive diffuser built into it. Uh, and then I custom mounted that to the authentic Voltex diffuser. So I think I'm the only one that I know of that has uh, this uh, combination of a double stack Zero Sports and Voltex diffuser that's authentic together. Um, I have uh, the Lumisthetic LED tails with the uh, BMW-esque angel wings, which I really like. The, uh, oh, and then uh, this is a Sims wing, not a STI wing. Uh, I think 99.9% .9 of people that see this car uh, assume that I have an STI wing on a WRX, but I don't, so we'll get that straight. Uh, it's a uh, Sims wing from Japan, and then I made a, uh, I love the look of the gurney flap, so I made a, a gurney flap, I heated to shape of the blade. Uh, and this is actually a, a E46 M3 trunk spoiler. So it's ironic that I also have uh, that car now and this is on the Subaru though. Um, I guess uh, the wheels are uh, 18 by 9.5 plus 40 uh, TVs uh, with 255, 35, 18 MPS 4S, the Michelins. They're the best free tire I've ever experienced. Um, yeah, it's, I, I haven't been able to go back to anything else. So on every wheel setup I have, I just have these mounted to that. Um, I also have a uh, Advan Chrome RGD2s and uh, SBC NT03s. Um, I like Chrome, but uh, this car can't pull off those type of wheels, so I like it on the track wheel. Um, I really am happy about picking up these uh, Ganadors. Uh, they're authentic carbon, uh, well, overlay uh, carbon Ganadors uh, with the uh, Arrow Wolf uh, blade attached to it. And then these are really cool uh, because everybody knows that the Ganadors, you know, they're made for the JDM right hand drive vehicles. So for me, it was shit visibility and it was a bitch not being able to see when I was merging. Um, so I have, uh, these are 3D custom printed uh, spacers made by Joe Tobias, who does an amazing job of that. Uh, and then I also have a specially group ordered uh, convex Prova Ganador mirrors. So basically these Ganadors are like a build in and of themselves. Um, but with all that setup, the, I have basically OEM or better vision out of my left hand drive vehicle with JDM Ganders, and that's amazing. Well, suspension wise, it's actually on a BC coils that I got basically right after high school. Uh, it's pretty crazy because the car, uh, it still feels amazing. Um, it's, it's yeah, um, maybe one day if those, you know, I feel that they're really blown, I'll get uh, Cusco coils or something like that, Olin's or KW's. But uh, right now the, the car was built for the toge and cans, and it just feels like it's on rails because of all the suspension I've done. Uh, it has Cusco front rear sway bars. Uh, it has a uh, Cusco uh, front strut tire bar. It has a, a Oswald triangle brace that was amazing. Uh, one of my favorite mods for this car. I guess I can just uh, show you by, if you see, it's a strut tire bar that is a triangle that links across and then back down. It's a, it's a triangle V. I had a, it also has a K welded additional points to mount even lower. So that stiffened up the entire rear of uh, the car because I hated how it felt like the rear trailed the front. It made the car feel one. Um, the, uh, it has all the, all the bushings possible that I could find for uh, the transmission mounts, uh, suspension mounts, things like that, uh, different <clears throat> cross member bushings. I have the rear subframe brace by Cusco. Uh, basically all the Cusco bracing uh, I could find um, is underneath the car. Um, the brakes are, uh, these are actually not stock brakes because the WRX had different front calipers. So they're uh, 04 SCI Brembos that I swapped on and I had them powder coated uh, three stage candy apple red. Uh, so there's a lot of flake when the sun's on it. Um, and then the rotors are DBA 4000 rotors that are uh, slotted and feel amazing. So uh, with this brake setup, the car just feels amazing. I hated the stock setup. Um, and I did everything possible with the stock brakes. So I did, you know, rotors, went through all the pads. Uh, but with this setup, um, it just, it stops on a dime. I guess I should mention that it has a Project Mew pads uh, and I swapped between those and StopTech pads. And uh, I love that with the uh, uh, StopTech stainless steel line. I'm pretty happy with the interior now because uh, the, especially the WRX GD chassis has such a shitty Econo box plasticky interior. Uh, so, Somebody, uh, well, uh, a good friend, uh, Aaron, he uh, actually sponsored the car uh, and he, he runs Suede It. Uh, so there's a Suede on the door cards and that's uh, to kind of, it's a reference to the STI door cards, but they're uh, STI blue door cards with the uh, Suede uh, center console. Um, I have WC Lathworks uh, 
TI bits throughout, um, and I thought that really, really updated interior felt really nice. Uh, I have Recaro graduation um, covers here, um, the uh, shift boot, uh, Defies on the ATI pod that I love. Uh, that actually saved my ass multiple times when I had a radiator hose blowout, uh, radiator crack, um, and I lost my coolant. Uh, it saved my ass because that center gauge started to beep and uh, I knew to pull over immediately, saved my motor. So that was a good investment. Uh, it has the uh, six plant Cusco cage with the carbon add-on bars, uh, Takata harnesses, um, and then it has a beat rush division plate uh, with a gutted rear and tier, which really doesn't save too much weight on this car, but um, I, I intended to have the front half of the car uh, kind of feel OEM plus, uh, and then the rear half of the car uh, more race uh, and track car. So it was more like a GT3 type of feeling. Um, I uh, have two Recaros. One is the Recaro Speed, uh, and then that's the Recaro SR0, uh, which is a really rare old Recaro. Um, but I want the passenger to be more comfortable. So it's uh, leather uh, and has nice bolstering. Uh, this one's just pure function for me. Um, and I just love how it feels. I've fallen asleep a lot in this seat in college. Uh, coming back from events, I would just knock out in this seat uh, and it was so comfortable. So one of the best ones I've ever done, completely changed the driving position of this car and that's so imperative for the driver's feel. Um, this is a STI steering wheel that's uh, Alcantara wrapped uh, and stitched uh, with a race stripe. Um, and I think that kind of covers the interior a little bit. Oh, JDM Red Hazard, can't forget that. You know, that's a cool thing from the Subaru world. Uh, doubled in and then the that's a pro drive STI cluster um, so it's uh, red uh, I'm sorry the red STI logo but it's a blue navy background and I love the color of that to match all the blue accents on the car uh, it's actually from a, a euro vehicle so I had a higher red line to like uh, higher one grand than what's at now so I actually had to open it up and I actually used the red sharpie to color in the ticks to lower the red line to what it is on my car because I didn't want you know, to ever fuck up, forgetting that or anybody else driving my car to fuck up, not knowing where the red line was. Uh, and I wanted just to be correct to my vehicle. So after 14 years of building this car, uh, I'm pretty happy with where it's at. Uh, like I said, I recently acquired an E46 M3 that's glorious in and of itself. It's the yin to my yang. Uh, they both offer totally opposite worlds. So uh, right now this fully serves its purpose for me. You know, it's just a full, fully envisioned theme of what, what I always wanted through all those JDM builds that I always idolized as a kid uh, and saved a million pictures, pictures of on my computer. Uh, so it looks the way I want, it drives the way I want. Uh, the handling is feels like just straight hacks. Wherever I turn, it goes. It's just max grip all the time, uh, max downforce and arrow. Power is, you know, super responsive and reliable. So to be honest, uh, I'm pretty just set on just driving the car and appreciating it for what it is and just owning it and not having any issues with it. Uh, so I guess that entails just doing all the maintenance. Um, to that respect, there, there are a lot of random things that I do have to resolve, like uh, the subframe. Uh, I was trying to install a Cusco uh, subframe underneath the car uh, brace, and I saw that the subframe was, uh, you know, it had some sheer damage from, I guess, being low in SoCal roads and uh, areas. So I want to get uh, the Oswald full subframe replacement uh, and that'll be an amazing mod to sift out the car as well because uh, everything with this car is about the rigidity and chassis bracing since I think the stock WRX and GD chassis is uh, because it's a base econo box it, 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 it needed a lot. So finally it feels just so tight uh, and I'm very happy with that. Uh, I guess I just want to keep the GD going strong to the future. Uh, and have this when I'm old and retired and still be happy with it. Um, lastly, I guess uh, I always say uh, I'll go to six speed if the stock five speed blows. I'm still on the stock five speed, uh, which is also crazy in the Subaru world. Um, I'm making over a hundred more wheel torque and wheel horsepower than stock. Um, uh, and I also have a carbon fiber uh, drive shaft shop drive shaft on the car. So it, uh, it increases the, the wheel torque and wheel horsepower that I put down a little bit. Um, and it feels amazing too, uh, with the lightweight flywheel. But uh, yeah, I think, um, yeah. So once I get that resolved, I'll be pretty happy with it. Um, the interior I'm, I'm very happy with when I was driving here, I, I'm looking around thinking, damn, this is actually pretty nice, you know? Um, and that's me coming from the E46 interior. So uh, quite pleased with it.